Have you ever wondered what was the very first sci-fi story to be published? Well, stick around because you don't want to miss this. Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of Sci-Fi Probe. I'm your host, JS, and together, we will be exploring the history of sci-fi in all its mediums. Books, comic books, TV shows, and films. With so much material to cover, I decided to start in chronological order, and since the story entitled A True Story, written by Lucian, which is considered, according to historical records, to be the only known and very first sci-fi story to be published, I find it only fitting to start at the very beginning with this story. A True Story was written in the 2nd century by writer Lucian of Samosata, a Greek-speaking author of Assyrian descent. Known for ridiculing superstition, religious practices, and belief in the paranormal, Lucian's humor was tongue-in-cheek in style. The only things that were known about Lucian comes from his own writings, which Frustratingly, it's difficult to interpret at times, considering his constant use of sarcasm. Born in 120 AD in Samsat, Turkey, he was the son of a lower middle class family from the village of Samosata, along the banks of Euphrates in the remote Roman province of Syria. When he was a young man, his uncle was a sculpturer, and he found himself working for him as an apprentice, who presumably had high hopes of shaping and molding his nephew to follow in his footsteps by becoming one himself. However, after a failed attempt at sculpting and realizing that he was not cut out for this profession, he ran away to pursue an education in Ionia. He became a traveling lecturer and visited universities throughout the Roman Empire. Eventually, Lucian established fame and fortune as a teacher and finally settled down in Athens for a decade, where he wrote most of his works. His major influences were Plato, Homer, Socrates, Epicurus, and Menippus. While the story is called a true story, do not be fooled by its title, for it is misleading, meaning it is a satire and outlandish tale presented with a fantasy or mythical tone as if it were reality. It is the first known story to feature elements such as outer space travel, encounter with alien life forms, including the experience of a first encounter event, interplanetary warfare, imperialism, colonization of planets, artificial atmosphere, liquid air, reflecting telescope, giantism, creatures as a byproduct of human technology, such as robots, worlds operating by a set of alternate physical laws, 
and the burning desire of the protagonist for exploration and adventure. Without giving too much away, the novel explores the adventures of Lucian and his companions as they journey beyond Earth and visit places such as the Pillars of Heracles that contains exotic features like a river of wine filled with fish and bears, trees that look like women, encountering storms, traveling to the moon to meet up with two factions who are at war with each other between the King of the Moon and the King of the Sun over colonization of the Morning Star, swallowed by a 200 mile long whale, discovering a sea of milk, an island of cheese, the island of the blessed, meeting the heroes of the Trojan War, as well as Homer, Pythagoras, Herodotus, Titius, and Odysseus. The story ends abruptly with Lucian informing the reader that their future adventures will continue in upcoming sequels. Unfortunately, that was a promise that was described by a disappointed scholar as, quote, the biggest lie of all, end quote. For those who wish to read this story, it is available through Amazon.com. The link is located below this video. There is another book that combines science fiction and parody in equal measure in Voltaire's Micro Omegas and the works of Douglas Adams. In addition, the book is an early expression of the idea of crossing the Atlantic and exploring lands that might lie on its other side some 1400 years before Columbus. In his golden years, Lucian was reportedly appointed as a highly paid government official in Egypt. However, he soon disappeared from historical records. He died in 192 AD in Egypt, Egypt. While Lucian has written numerous stories, a true story is considered to be his finest and best known work. Well, that concludes my review of a true story. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell button if you wish to stay abreast for upcoming episodes. In episode 2, we will be exploring the story of 1001 Nights. I'm your host, JS. Thank you for joining me. Expect me when you see me.